on a windswept Kansas day. The tools are prepared and the search begins. This is the, the dream come true. This is why I bought the land. Pull beyond where you want to make. This field school led by Dr. Lauren Norman with the KU Department of Anthropology with six students and volunteers. They've descended on the land once home to the Bloody Benders along the historic Osage Trail just north of Cherryvale. The story isn't over. The history is done, but it's not over. It's not finished. And that's really cemented in this project because, I mean, there's no house here, but look how many people have been gathered just for digging an empty field. In the early 1870s, a family of four, the parents, son John, and most famous of them all, daughter Kate, remembered for their propensity to kill and rob weary travelers, welcoming them into their home before hitting them over the head, slitting their throats, and dumping their bodies into the cellar to be buried here later. To do this work here is a way of honoring uh, I think um, those people, uh, the people that, that uh, lost their lives. After the bloody benders were discovered, the four fled and vanished, but tourists soon descended and quickly cleared away what remained. This is a really cool site because of the story, but also because we have such great interest. So we have a lot of people working on genealogy, the history, kind of their own family's connection. Adding more to the story, this has been a long time coming for the land's current owner, Bob Miller, who bought it four years ago. We know what happened, but we don't know where it happened, and find out what the ground has been hiding for 150 years. After extensive prep work, the time has come to start the archaeological dig. To most people, it's just junk. You know, to us, it's, it's really important data. Slowly peeling back dirt to discover bits of history, to uncover evidence of the home, stable, outhouse, and this larger mystery. A lot of archaeology is about the artifacts, but at least half of what we know comes from where we find the artifacts. And so recording their context, keeping good records is all part of it. After carefully cataloging everything that's been found here, the next step will come over the next few months as everything is analyzed to see how it fits into the Bloody Benders story. It's real exciting because you wonder when you find like a rivet or a square nail, was this part of the cabin? Uh, was it a hor horse bridle that had belonged to one of the victims? Beyond adding to the story of the Benders, this field school is a rare teaching opportunity for Dr. Norman and her students. Archaeology really is learned in the field. Students like Dylan Allen, who was out here last summer conducting ground surveying. I haven't gotten the opportun opportunity to do much digging, and so like being able to put everything that I've learned in school to the test it's, it's very satisfying. As the Bloody Bender's story is far from complete, this work is carefully trying to unearth the truth. This isn't going to be the end of the story for sure. This is just the beginning stages of it. Long process, but hopefully a very fulfilling and rewarding one. Because it's unknown what pieces of this story remain buried in this land. North of Cherryvale, Novak County, Sean Logging. 12 news. So, That's good. Hey, we got a guest. Oh, hey. So big, big. Yeah. Yeah.